I'm sure many of you are familiar with the obsession that many vegan men and women have with fat, heavy, thick, creamy, nut butters. And there's a bigger issue here, which is the high omega-6 fatty acid content of said nut butters. What happens in the long term when you consume large amounts of omega-6 fats is it increases the level of inflammation in your body. And that's actually through turning every single lipid and fat in your body into the omega-6 fatty acid, particularly linoleic acid. And it makes sense. When you consume a certain type of fat for a long period of time in large amounts, the fats in your body will turn into this type of fat. The problem with the lipids in your body, particularly cholesterol, being composed of omega-6 fats is your body no longer recognizes them. Uh, in the long term, uh, people with atherosclerosis and heart disease have very high levels of plant sterols in their arteries. Uh, if I had to make a bet, a vegan keto diet is a guarantee of a stroke or heart disease faster than any other diet there is. Not only is it incredibly high in inflammatory omega-6 fatty acids, it's also low in B12, as all vegan diets are low in B12. This causes high homocysteine levels, which causes additional oxidation. So uh, I'm very curious to see uh, where these people who are consuming large amounts of nut butters will be in a couple of years or even down the line. And I can only assume the reason they're doing it is because they're just craving calories on their diet that is not sufficient in nutrients. So let's take a look at what this young man is eating today. Good morning, beautiful people. I have got, guys, I've got, so, uh, I am so excited about what I'm going to show you in this video because, um, yeah, guys, the nut butters, honestly, like, I really appreciate the fact that all of you guys, well, by the way, if you don't follow me on Instagram, it's just healthy, crazy, cool. That's how you can, like, contact me if you, like, find a nut butter or nut butters that need to be reviewed. Um, and thank you so much to all of you guys who send me, like, like, as soon as a new nut butter comes out, like, you screenshot it and send it to me. Yeah, it's like I have scouts all over the world now, so thank you very much. But the one I'm going to, well, I'm going to review a couple today, both very exciting. But one of them, when it popped up on Instagram, like, a couple weeks ago, I thought it was a joke. I was like, no, that can't be a thing. It just can't be a thing. But apparently it is a thing, and I finally got my hands on it this morning, so we're going to review that later. Also later, I'm going to show you how to make my new favorite hummus. It's caramelized onion and carrot hummus. So delicious, so easy. It is just, it's the best hummus I've ever made. And I know I always say that as well, but they just keep getting better, so yeah. So I'm gonna make a very simple smoothie in a minute. It's like my all time favorite, like three, ing three ingredient, three ingredient or four ingredient smoothie. That's like one of my staples in like my everyday life. But as I've said to you guys before, like I personally cannot stomach any food before exercise, and I also exercise first thing in the morning if I go to the gym, which I did this morning. But yeah, one thing that I do have before every workout now is Thrive. And I know that you guys have been kind of bombarding me in the comments recently saying, why is it always sold out? Like you can't get your hands on it anymore. Um, I think they didn't realize how big the demand was and how everyone would kind of use it as like a long-term product. Anyways, yeah, so what I have, every morning before my workout, or even if I don't work out, it's just like a, it's almost like my multivitamin that I have every single day. It has a full spectrum of B vitamins, B12, even D3. It's got probiotics, it's got turmeric, it's got ginger. It's like a full on um, digestive support and also just like a multivitamin boost. Speaking of that, I tried to film myself drinking it. What, sorry, cut that. I did film myself drinking it, but honestly, I just watched back the footage and even I didn't understand what I was saying or what I was trying to get across. Like, it should be illegal for Miles to film at that time of the morning. Um... Now, I am not too familiar with young men getting so nervous and excited at the thought of nut butters. I know many of you think I am, but I am not. Let's take a look at this Thrive a multi-nutrient thing he's talking about that is supposedly nutritionally complete. Thrive Him Raw Green Superfood, a 100% plant-based blend of greens, fruits, vitamins, minerals, and probiotics to support optimal male health. Man, I should just package some dirt from my backyard into a bag and start selling it and tell 
people that it's what makes me look like a Roman statue. Plant-based vitamin D for bone health and improved mood. I'm curious if it's D2 or D3. 400 milligrams of go-to cola to enhance brain function because, you know, there's no plant foods with enough DHA. I mean, why not put some DHA in there to actually enhance your brain function? Let's just tell them something that they don't know about. Like, who, like no one knows what go-to cola is. 10 billion probiotics for optimal digestive health. <laughs> God, as if anyone knew what a probiotic was or why it was good for you. Ingredient breakdown, ooh. Indian moringa leaf, freeze-dried acai berry, lucuma fruit, New Zealand wheatgrass, camu camu fruit, go-to cola, bao fruit, vegan probiotic blend. They try to glamorize this shit so much, but reality is it's green slop powder. And they it's literally a laboratory combining different powders together. Like they're, they're saying, oh, we got all these healthy fruits and vegetables, blah, blah, blah. They're getting all of these in powdered form. They're blending them together. They're freeze dried. It's all complete crap. They're just It's just under this glamorous marketing. Veganic. <laughs> Veganic. I love it. Vegan, raw, no added sugar, gluten-free, complete, delicious. What bothers me is they can say it's complete and put the paper value of the vitamins on paper, but it's not doesn't actually have nutrition. What a load of shit. Holy crap. I should start selling plants instead of meat. Those of you guys who don't know, I, I recently opened a free-range meat company, Frankie's Free-Range Meat, and if I knew I could sell a bunch of dirt in a bag for $55, I might have opened up something else is Thrive Vegan. Yes, Thrive is vegan as certified by the Vegan Society. <laughs> What's the Vegan Society? <laughs> Sounds like a cult. Well, it is a cult, but... See, this is what I mean. When you actually go to look at the ingredients, there's so much crap in here. It's unbelievable. Konjac fiber, natural blueberry flavor, peppermint leaf, stevia extract. You think with all this crap they're adding, they wouldn't have to add more flavors. This is interesting. What they basically did was... They took a bunch of plant crap and bunched it together to make it so it looks like you're hitting 100% of your RDA of vitamins and minerals. Yeah, it's, it's really interesting to me that people will look at the U.S. RDAs and, and try to shoot for their RDA nutritional values, yet they don't actually understand the purpose of the RDAs or that the RDAs might be slightly incorrect to some degree. Uh, it's unfortunate. What are you going to do? Uh, I'm curious how long this whole bullshit vegan food is going to last. Maybe I should try to cash in on it. It's always interested me from a perspective of nature how people will choke down foods that don't taste good and and especially with things like babies. Like people will give babies vegetables and foods they don't eat because they think it's good for them. But a baby's natural instinct is, you know, to crawl up to the mother's breast when it's born and, and breastfeed. You would think that natural human instinct knows what foods are good and bad for them. And, and the fact that these people are choking down, you know, 24 ounces, 16 ounces of, of this nasty shit every day, you know, whatever. What are you going to do? All right, guys. So this is what goes in my very basic smoothie. Um, I did say it was three ingredients, but it turns out it's actually four. This is a breakfast that I have, honestly, like three or four times a week. I absolutely love it. It's refreshing. It's filling. It's full of nutrition. So anyways, I mean, I don't measure this ish. It's just, I don't know, a couple cups of frozen mango. For healthy fats, I have got half a kind of miserable looking avocado but that's fine it's going to make the smoothie nice and creamy full of vitamin e full of potassium great for you after a workout gonna make your skin glow speaking of things that make your skin glow as always i have got a quarter of a cup of hemp seeds these go in every single smoothie i make as you guys know full of protein full of healthy fats full of omega-3s that again are great for your skin and great for your muscles after a workout too honestly i think the top comment i get on this channel and on instagram is about skin about my skin um, and honestly guys like the answer is always the same eat your healthy fats i'm fed up with people saying oh but if i eat like one walnut i break out Bitch, please also of course i always put some greens in my smoothies so here i have got a large cup i don't even know how much this is it's probably a couple cups of kale but anyways yeah this is where it's at like three or four times in the week and sometimes i will also add a scoop of protein powder to this today i'm just not mm, so thick so creamy. <laughs>
go in for a little taste. This is a little bit thicker. This is more like nice cream, to be quite honest. Mmm. Um, also, like, I said, like... <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> this is... Th to me, this is so crazy. How, how can someone put like kale with mango seeds and an avocado in a blender and say mm, it's it, it, okay from a nutritional aspect mango is sugar kale cruciferous vegetable if anything in its raw state it's just going to inhibit your thyroid function the vitamins in these foods the minerals aren't available because they are in the plant form and bound to substances that inhibit their absorption uh, seeds especially things like hemp seeds are very high in anti-nutrients uh, you know, and, and, you know, seeds, as you can imagine, are not really meant to be consumed by humans in large amounts consistently over periods of time. Not only are you getting a high anti-nutrient content from seeds and not absorbing the nutrients in the seeds, but seeds are also high in omega-6. So it's just contributing to the very high omega-6 content of his diet. Uh, avocados, I'm not actually too against avocados on paper and realistically speaking, they are one of the better foods that vegans do incorporate into their diets from a fat perspective, from a nutrient perspective, from a natural perspective. The thing is, every vegan loves eating avocados. You know, they're shipped in from all around the world. And judging by the amount of ingredients in his already, you know, his Thrive multi-nutrient thing that he had in the morning, it just makes me wonder how these vegans can consume so many different foods and not start to think, okay, can I really say that my diet's better for the environment when I'm consuming dozens to hundreds of different types of food that are all coming from different locations and parts of the world to fulfill my ridiculous diet? Yesterday I saw, I'm not even going to mention the name because you know exactly who I'm talking about. And by saying this, I'm not spreading any hate. I, I spread facts on my channel, okay? Not hate. It really, really annoyed me when like one former big influencer, former vegan big influencer, who's now like not vegan, which okay, fair enough, if they don't want to be vegan, like whatever. I mean like, <clears throat> I mean like it's not whatever, but I mean like what can we do? But what really annoyed me was like now this person is like saying, oh, you know, like I've now become aware of so many more people in this situation that have, that have had to stop being vegan for health issues. And it's like, no, you didn't. You just came across people that were equally as stupid. Basically, you came across people that neglected their health and ate a very restrictive diet, just like you did. You didn't find other people that were eating a well-balanced vegan diet with supplements who then all of a sudden, all of these people are like needing animal products now. You saw other people that were just as stupid as you, okay? That's a fact. All right, let me, let me get this straight. So he only spreads facts on his channel, not hate. But is that why he's sucking down dirt and he thinks it's giving him vitamins? And then he goes to say that everyone who fails a vegan diet is stupid and was too restrictive. Hmm. Keep sucking down that thick, creamy, green crap, you arrogant little boy. When this guy's skin is peeling off in three years... We'll see what he has to say. All right, guys, so to make this sweet caramelized onion and carrot hummus, obviously we need to caramelize the onions, well, the onion and the carrots first. So I've got one large white onion. You can, of course, use red as well, and some good organic carrots. Like I always say with carrots, it's like the one thing that I have to get organic because they just taste better. It's a fact. So yeah, I've just sprinkled this with a little bit of salt and pepper and a little drizzle of garlic infused olive oil. If you're oil free or whatever, or you don't like to use oil, you can of course just drizzle this with some balsamic vinegar. That works really well too. I personally don't use oil that much just because I don't feel the need, but there are just certain things, certain specific dishes where I feel like it just makes a difference, you know? Anyways, this is gonna go into a hot oven for 20 minutes. It's gonna be nice and succulent and caramelized. And then we can get blending. Oh guys, hold on. There we go. Guys, I forgot to tell you, I wanted to say a big thank you to the awesome person that sent me this. This is honestly one of my favorite things in the world. This is Halva, if you guys don't know what Halva is, first of all, sort your life out. Second of all, it's, um, it's sesame seeds mixed with something sweet. So sometimes it's like honey, which obviously this one isn't. Halva is one of my favorite things in the world. It's a blend of sesame seeds with something sweet. This one is with molasses and cardamom and oh my God. This is the best, like most authentic halva I've ever tried. I literally just eat it by the spoon. I think the amazing person that sent me this, it came straight from Saudi Arabia, I believe. Um, and they also sent me a couple of um, like Middle Eastern nut butters, which I'll review in a future video. But this stuff guys, like, if you haven't tried halva, 
Yo, the texture is very thick. It's the best dessert ever. So whoever sent this to me, I love you eternally. All right guys, so this is the final result. I actually roasted this for about 25 minutes. And as you can see, it's caramelized really nicely. It's gonna be super, super sweet, especially the onion. I'm just a little bit confused here. The hava was sweet and it's his dessert, but the carrots and the onions are also sweet. And isn't everything these vegans are eating technically sweet? I mean, since vegans are akin to little children, all they do is eat sweet dessert. I mean, the real reason for that is, you know, their blood sugar constantly goes up and down. They're running on a carbohydrate metabolism. The only way they can keep themselves fueled is to suck down sugar every hour or so. The halva made with sesame seed, another very high omega-6 food. Uh, you know, what really gets me is this guy seems pretty approachable, pretty amenable. It's easy to see why people would like him, you know, in certain parts of his videos. But regardless of how these vegans appear on the outside, they are all the same. They will lie. They will misinform you. They will glamorize their lifestyle to push their agenda. And if you look at certain things, hints here and there about what they do in their videos, it becomes very clear. They constantly cut their videos. It indicates they have brain fog. They're always filming in daylighting, and, and daylight pretty much covers up any sort of imperfections you have on your skin. It also makes you look the best out of every form of lighting. And, and they also even show hints of parts of their day where they're not functioning like a normal human being. Uh, like earlier when he couldn't understand himself what he was saying in the morning. Uh, there's indicators in every single one of these videos that these people are not healthy and energetic and thriving, yet these people are able to disguise and misinterpret and glamorize their lifestyle incredibly well. And the, and the crappy vegan music is another one of those elements. Starting with our carrots and onions. Chickpeas. By the way guys, the full ingredients and instructions and stuff will be in the description box as always. Um, I've just sprayed chickpeas all over my kitchen, like just all over the floor. Chickpeas actually require a pretty high amount of water to grow, uh, about as much as meat. And considering the amount of nutrition you get from one ounce of meat versus one ounce of chickpeas, not the best investment for a resource. Full ingredients and instructions and stuff will be in the description box as always. Um, I've just sprayed chickpeas all over my kitchen, like just all over the floor. Anyways, obviously we need some liquid gold. Look at that beautiful lake. This is when you need the proper, proper liquid gold, okay? None of that clay stuff. Some garlic powder. If you've got fresh garlic, you can use a couple of cloves of that as well. Lots of fresh lemone and lots of pips, as always. But like I always say, I don't care because it just proves that it's homemade when there's pips in there, you know? I should actually like list a serving of lemon pips in the recipe because so many went in. A little bit of salt and pepper. Done. Just gonna check if it needs a little bit extra of something. Mm. This is the best hummus I've ever made. I know I say that in every single video, but this is actually the best hummus I've ever made. Guys, would you look at that? All right, guys, there you have it. I've just whipped up this nutrient-dense salad. This is my huge bowl, by the way, um, because I'm actually pretty hungry. Obviously, we've got some of the caramelized onion and carrot hummus in the middle. I've got two heads of romaine underneath, some dark leafy greens, some tender stem broccoli, which I just steamed, some roasted butternut squash, which I'm totally obsessed with right now, tomatoes, sweet corn, and of course, drizzled with some more liquid gold. Doesn't really get much better than that, my people. Anyways, I'm gonna go apply to face, and you guys know what's coming next. These large ass salads that look like you're bringing it to a party for 20 people, like a party platter for dipping or something, and these people are eating it, you know, once or twice a day? How is that not an indicator that you're not digesting the food you're eating, and there is a lot of waste? You know, when I was at the New York City uh, vegan parade thing eating raw meat, well, my buddy was eating raw meat, uh, one of the vegans there said, oh, I shit six times a day. It's amazing, bro. I'm like, these people are crazy. Out of touch with their bodies, out of touch with reality. If we actually look at the foods in this bowl, it makes a lot of sense. None of these foods are really calorically dense. The only thing that might be is that hummus that he made. And even then, 
Yeah, you know, these people are consuming incredibly high volumes of low calorie food to fill up their stomachs. Uh, it doesn't really make sense. I guess vegans can only really satiate their appetite with physical fullness, not nutrition. This is the moment you have all been waiting for, well, at least I've been waiting for, for a very long time. You're probably thinking, what in the hell, if you haven't already seen this, like popping up on Instagram, this is the new Marmite peanut butter. Marmite peanut butter. So over the last couple of weeks, honestly, about 200 of you sent me a screenshot of this saying, Miles, get on it. This is actually a thing now. And at first, when I saw this picture, I thought it was a joke. I thought they would never. I thought they could never. I still think they should never. Obviously, the Aussies have Vegemite. I'm sorry to disappoint you boys and girls, but he doesn't actually suck down the nut butter on camera. Uh, maybe I'll have to make up for it in one of my future videos. Uh, but what are you going to do? I, I just think it's crazy that this guy puts nut butter in just about every single thing he eats one way or another. The only meal that might not have any sort of high omega-6 nut or seed uh, might have been that Thrive dirt crap he had in the morning. Uh, but outside of that, you know, he put seeds in the shake he made. He's put nut butter in every single food. And now he's eating nut butter straight out of a jar. I think this guy's red blood cells are like tiny little peanuts combined together floating around his bloodstream. I'm genuinely curious if this young man was beaten at some point in his life by the planter's peanut logo with that cane of his, but uh, we can only assume that he just has an unhealthy obsession with thick fat nuts. So yeah, for dinner we went out to this vegan restaurant in London. The menu is overall pretty healthy, lots of whole foods, lots of colour, lots of variety too. For starters, we shared some of their loaded mushroom tacos with sour cream and guac. They were honestly unbelievable, 10 out of 10. We also got some of their regular- Hold on, what was that? Hold on, hold on. That, that's a, that's a, that's a lettuce in a taco w with some sort of cream on top. <laughs> we also got some of their regular nachos because honestly, it's just procedure that me and my friends get nachos, even if we don't want them. It's just a thing, I don't know. For my main, I got the macro bowl, which was filled with quinoa, sweet potato, seaweed, samphire, kale, avocado, and a ginger and miso dressing. We also got lots of sides to share, as per usual, got some sweet potato fries with a spicy mayo dip, some hummus, but the best thing by far on the table was this almond butter broccoli, which was basically just like roasted broccoli, a little bit crispy, but smothered in a thick, creamy almond butter sauce genius right up my street like i always say food is a source of nourishment and it's also our medicine but most importantly it's something to be enjoyed and celebrated i don't think we're missing out on too much ladies and gentlemen going out to dinner with a bunch of pale corpses isn't really my idea of fun and especially you know stuffing my face with a bunch of processed plant-based crap is also not my idea of fun i just thought it was pretty interesting that you know the foods he was eating at that vegan restaurant you know, they're foods that we see over and over again that he was eating throughout the day. You have the avocado, you have the sweet potato, you have the seeds, you have the nut butters, all these uh, sauces and dips that are made usually from a nut butter base. Uh, I, as I've mentioned several times in this video, I am genuinely curious about, you know, someone who follows a diet so high in omega-6 fats, where they're going to be 5, 10, 15 years from now, and, and what the negative repercussions are of consuming what is supposedly uh, one of the worst things that you can for your health, being high linoleic omega-6 fatty acids. Overall, no real significant source of fat-soluble vitamins in this person's diet. Uh, you know, they are not healthier than anyone else, and they do not appear to be or act healthier and more energetic than anyone else there is. Uh, it's pretty crazy to think that, you know, we've had many, many years of being deceived by you know, the government on the standard American diet and everyone's become unhealthy. And now it seems like veganism is almost a way to keep that crap being shoved down people's throats. So I don't know. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. It's right next to the subscribe button and share the video if you can. If you guys would like to support me, just check out some of the videos that I'm going to link at the end here. Uh, if you'd like to support me further, uh, recently we did launch Frankie's Free Range Meat. 
Our goal to provide you with high quality, nutrient dense animal foods. Check out frankiesfreerangemeat.com to see our mission. Uh, we recently added salmon roe, raw cheeses. We have a bunch of grass fed meats, grass fed fat up there right now. Uh, if you do want to support and check out the future of my goal of being able to provide affordable and quality foods, frankiesfreerangemeat.com. You guys enjoy the rest of your week.